everyone what's going on this is your girl Uli blah, 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 butterfly up in the sky looking around no <laughs> this is your girl Libra butterfly coming to you from the great state of Kentucky where the women are beautiful and the horses are fast how the horses are beautiful and the women are fast it just really depends on what you learn like I want to say happy birthday to you to lot of daddy everybody happy anniversary if I'm not mistaken this starts the Virgo season for all of you all who support our um you look into your horoscope or whatever uh this that ports for you I want to go ahead and uh, let you guys know this week starts a new butterfly that we are featuring. And the butterfly we are featuring this week is Real Mamas. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Real Mamas, yes. Real Mamas has a channel as well. Please go give her a like and a hug on her channel. We thank her. Next week, we will be doing two. We'll probably be doing, you know what? I think I'm going to change it to shout out a subby each each day. Each day I come on, I think I'm going to shout out a subby. So pay attention. Stay tuned. Because eventually, we're going to have a little quiz. And those that can uh, answer the quiz will win a prize. Okay? So, yes, 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 yes. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. How about that? Okay, yeah, so I'm just really going to talk today. Um, I'm not going to be here long, uh, but I do want to talk today. Um, you know, a lot of times when I go through uh, evolving or um, when I come through something, I always like to come back and, you know, encourage someone else. You know, sometimes you... Have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to speak victory during the test. That's how I feel. No matter what you feel, speak a word, you will be healed. Speak over yourself. 
and catch yourself in the love. That's how I feel, y'all. That's that's how I feel. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. I promise you. Um, so let's get into it. And first of all, let me give a disclaimer. I'm not throwing off on anybody, so please don't come for me. I'm saved, but the Lord is still working on me. I'll be the first to tell you, honey, I am under construction. You know how you see an old building? But when you go on the inside, they got new pipes. They putting in new floors. It's got new windows. It's not quite up to date yet, but they're working on it. That's me. I'm that building. God is yet working on me. So don't at me. Seriously. Okay. So, and you know what? Oh, here I go. You know what? During my walk with Christ, um, He's never failed me, but I have failed him. But the one thing that I love about my father is that he knows me. He knows me, you know, and where I fall short, grace abounds. You feel what I'm saying? Is that my yard man? I think it's my yard man. Uh, You know, grace abounds because I'm not perfect. Jesus is. Do I strive to be like him every day, all day? Trust me. Even when I fall short, I still repent and get back in line and say, okay, God, let's let's, let's do this. Let's do this. You know, um, when I went to this retreat, Sardi, this that's what I needed. I went to a retreat, Sardi, out of town, and I put a little video out there so you all can see. It really didn't do, the video didn't do it justice because I thought it was going to pick up the water and everything, like, real, real clear the way we were seeing it. And it had, you know, it showed y'all a whole bunch of woods and the water. So, uh, but it was beautiful. And the water kind of went halfway around the resort. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, it, it wasn't just in one spot. The water was like almost around the whole resort. Like, but it was, it was halfway around it. And it was so beautiful. And I didn't get a chance to get the horses. So when I go back, I pick all that up. So, you know, but... Um, when I went to this retreat Saturday, it was exactly what in the four sides of the equator I needed. Oh yeah, that's my, that's my, um, your guy. Okay. It was exactly what I needed. And, um, what I got, Saturday, I cannot there is not even a price. You know what I'm saying? Plus, y'all know that my whole retreat was free to me. Look at God. <laughs> it was free to me, you know. And when I tell you the bonding that I did, the healing that came forth, the love that was given I just I you know and what's so funny is it was a pastor there and he didn't know me from Adam and he came over and shook I was sitting in the seat by myself you know I like I was in the lobby and I just began to sit there and just do me like I'm a real deep thinker and uh he came over he said how you doing? And I said, oh, hello. You know, shook his hand and everything. I said, I'm, I'm wonderful. I said, you know, I, I will not complain because this is too beautiful. I'm wonderful, you know. And he said, yeah, you know, and he got to talking, but he kept staring at me and everything, you know. And I, I'm I'm used to stuff like that because it's either one or two things. Either one, he was going to try to holler at me. Uh, two, God was showing him something. You know, it's, it's not, it's no in between, okay. So uh, somebody walked over. And um, a relative of mine walked over and said, um, yeah, you know, she's a preacher. And he said, that's what it is. Like that, you know. And I started laughing. He said, you weren't even going to say nothing. I said, no, sir. I said, because I'm just me, you know. And he said, and uh, uh, the relative said, yeah, she's a preacher. Bad. 
bad, you know, like it. And I was like, to God be the glory. He said, before you leave here, I need your information. He said, because if any other pastor has a problem with a female preaching, I don't. He said, I need a vacation. He said, matter of fact, he said, give me your information because I'm going to call you over to my church to lead the church while I go on vacation. Y'all, y'all, y'all can't, you don't understand. You don't understand. I was like, my mouth flew open. My mouth flew open. He's like, yeah, I feel it. He said, I feel that. And y'all, my mouth was like, you know, and he, I said, just let me know. Just let me know. I said, you know, I always pray about it. I said, but let me know. I said, because I feel it in my spirit. I said, you know, I said, thank you. It's the only thing I can say is thank you. You know, yeah, it was just, I mean, just like that. Just like that, a blessing walked up. Boom, just like that. And I learned that people, y'all hear me, hear me good. Human beings may not like my honesty, but God loves it. And because I am honest and because I do acknowledge my shortcomings and I don't try to live on this pedestal like, you know, my stuff don't stink. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, you know, God always, he always, that's why I keep telling people I'm his favorite daughter. I really am. I might not be people's favorite, but I'm God's favorite. <laughs> and that's all that matters. That's, that's, a, a, that's all that matters. And so... You know, I was having a conversation with a content creator. Um, she's in the beefing sector, but she does a lot more than just beefing, you know. And I particularly like this content creator, what I see. You understand what I'm saying? And I was having a conversation with this person in a private chat. Not just me. It was a whole, you know, it was other people in her too. And it dawned on me because I said, you know, people always say they want good content. And I said, but the only only numbers that seem like they come in is if somebody's cussing somebody out or they talking about somebody or whatever. I said, those of us who got, you know, different content, we talk about world news. We talk about healing, you know, as far as herbs. We talk about economics. We talk about things like this. You know, I'm just giving a, a reference to what I said. I said, we don't get the numbers. I said, but everybody claims they tired of the cussing, they tired of the this, the ter- but they don't, they, no, they're not. No, they're not, you know. And she was like, well, there's other content creators that she know of in other sectors, they got numbers, you know. She says, so what was my response? My response to that was, I have to be able to look at myself in the mirror and like who I see. That's the difference. I said, and on top of that, got to give the increase. And when he do, I find my tribe. I'm convinced my tribe is out here somewhere. I don't know who they are, but my tribe is out here somewhere that really wants what I have to offer. It ain't got to be no bargaining. It ain't got to be no, you know, me doing this, that, and the other just to get numbers. It's now, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, no ham, no sandwich. No, ma'am. And I really believe that, y'all. I really believe that because my mind went back to like the Lord did, just like that. I got a speaking engagement, just sitting in the chair, minding my business, minding my business. You know, so I may not be people's favorite. I may not be something that people want to hear, but that's okay because I'm my favorite. You feel me? And I will say this. I wanted to say this, too. I, everybody knows, and, and I know, I hope, uh, let me just, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be transparent. Everybody knows when I came on here, I actually came on here on YouTube and I was watching, um, ah, her name just went out of my mouth. She's deceased now. She cooks and cuss. Her, her son gets on her nerves. She was a black woman. She used to cook, you know, she is the one that drew me to YouTube. Upon seeing her, Auntie P, there you go, Auntie P. Upon seeing her on YouTube, I bumped into what we call Fababe, okay? And that was one morning, I think if we was, I think she was up before the crows cracked, honey, because it was still dark outside and she was up sipping coffee. 
And I was like, oh, she got coffee. That's my girl. You know, like that. Uh, so I stayed up in the bushes for a minute before I even decided to drop down, you know, because I like to see what a person's working with, you know, what they're about. So I became one of Auntie Fee's subs and I became Fat Babe sub. So I became a part of the nation. OK, and that was really a little bit before we was a nation. But nevertheless, I was there. OK. And. I will say this. I support Fab 8. Let me make this clear. I support Fab 8. And I told y'all, only person's going to make me not support Fab 8 is Fab 8. Okay? And with that being said, do I support everybody that support a Babe Nation? No. Because you know why? Everybody that's in Babe Nation don't support me. See how that works? And but I do I support Fire Babe? Absolutely. She's the head babe in charge. I support her. But I would be lying if I said I supported everybody in Babe Nation. No, because everybody in Babe Nation don't support me. And I thank her for telling people to sub to me because she was like Libra Butterfly got a channel go over and you know sub to her listen to her she do positive things she talk about spirituality you know all this and stuff so she made it known okay people just decided whether or not they did or did not want to do it and that's fine that's your right but don't come to me talking about we part of babe nation and I need to I need to sub to you when you ain't sub to me how about that so let's just let's just get along when we up under fat babe, and then after that you ain't got to speak, and I ain't got to speak. See how that works? That's just why I'm at with it. This is 2022. I'm not kissing no butt, never kissed butt, and I don't think today is a good day to start. You feel me? So I wanted to get that out there in the open. I, you know, kudos to everybody who's got a channel that's in Babe Nation. Kudos to you. You know, may the Lord blow on your channel. I have no hate at all. I'm just saying that's for me and my channel. Ah, come on now. For me and my channel. That's all I'm going to say about that. I don't beef. I'm not in no beef. I don't do that. I don't do that at all. Okay? Secondly, y'all do know that I like Sean Bradley and Club Chat. No, no secret. No secret whatsoever. I always tell y'all, Sean Bradley does what I used to want to do when I was younger, which is travel the world. However he travels, he travels. You know, people be worried about how he's traveling. I don't care how he's traveling. He's traveling. Booyaka. You feel me? Those minor things, I don't have to worry about. It ain't my money paying for them. But I, you know, I do like him. I do like the fact that he's he's well traveled. And to be honest with y'all, Sean's very intelligent. I know people got their gripes with him or whatever, and I get it. I'm not trying to convince nobody to, you know, whatever at all. Club Chat has been nice to me. They have not been nasty to me. Everybody knows that I support Fab Aid. So this is how I take care of that. Whenever the conversation gets on the person I support, I say nothing. If the conversation so happened, if the whole thing, the whole channel at that time is about her, I don't clock in. See how that works? I'm a loyal person. I'm loyal. Sometimes to a fault. You know. So I wanted to say that too. I did want to say that. Do I agree with everything everybody do? Heck no. Come on now. Quit playing. But that's what makes us human. I can I can agree to disagree with you and still support you. Point blank, period. So I wanted to say that so it wouldn't be no, you know, misunderstanding or discrepancy about where Libra butterflies stand and all this and stuff. First of all, stop worrying about me. Stop worrying about me. I'm good. I'm 51 years old. Greg be 52 if the Lord let me see it. 
trust me, I can, I can, you know, kind of walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. I also know how to put my own underoos up. You know, those things I can do by myself. I don't need no help doing those. You know, so that's where I'm at. Okay. And that's just what I wanted to say about them too, because people feel some type of way. And then they be trying to come up with a, a confusion or an argument when it don't it don't have to be. It don't have to be that. If trust me, Fat Babe no. She know I've talked to her. <laughs> Duh. Because when I'm loyal to a person, I'm loyal to a person. That's why she don't have no problem when Libra Butterfly drops down. Because she knows Libra Butterfly supports Fabe. No matter where y'all see me, that's where my loyalty lies. Just like when I drop down in club chat, Sean don't have a problem with me. Because Sean know I'm not going to be out here talking about Sean and then try to drop down in his chat. Really, Sean don't care. Let's just get that straight. But I don't know how y'all do that. I haven't figured that one out yet. I don't know how y'all. I've seen. Let me shut up about that and move forward. Anyway, I'm in my own content. Move forward. I roller skate everywhere. Y'all already know that I support the real Anthony McNeil. No problem there. That's, that's a gimme. That's a gimme. You know. Uh, I've seen people that supposedly support me and ain't got time to, to finish what they started with me, but they in everybody else's chat. It trips me out. How do you say, I can't do this with you right now because of this, but we're going to reschedule it. But then I turn around and you in 50,000 other chats doing everything. And I'm sitting there like, See, it says SS said bull. That's that bull. I just be shaking my head like, all you gotta do is tell me you don't wanna do it. And that's cool. Let's move on. We adults. What am I gonna do? Whoop you? I mean, just some stuff, y'all, that people do. It's just so redundant. It just makes you rethink life. Like, is this real a Memorex? You know, is this real or Memorex? I just, I don't have time. I don't have time. So, you know, when I know, oh, okay. When I know uh, that you full of bull, I treat you as such. With a long handle spoon, baby. Huh. I don't lose no sleep over it, but I do mark my enemy. Because if you ain't for me, you my enemy. Point blank in the period. Okay, move forward. So I won't just turn dork, but I just had to get that off my chest. I had to get that off my chest. Um, you know, y'all, it's it's a whole bunch of stuff I could say. I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff with people on YouTube, but I just, you know, <laughs> Lord, I just shake my head because sometimes people think you are boo boo for food. Let me tell you something. Even if I, for everything that I told y'all I've been through, trust me, it's stuff I ain't said. Trust me, it's much worse. And I have not said that because a lot of people can't take the truth. For everything that I, ex I exposed about my life to y'all here on YouTube, just know it's deeper and it's way worse than what I've told y'all. I gave y'all the pretty version. If you can believe that, I gave you the pretty version. But if the Lord, and I know some of y'all hate that I talk about God like this, oh well. But if the Lord allowed me, now, hear what I'm saying. If the Lord allowed me from the age of eight years old to I'm now 51 to go through everything that I've been through and not lose my mind. You hear me? Not lose my mind, but to take it, even if I fall, dust myself up, get back up, and get back in line and fight again, and not only fight, but fight for other people. 
huh? To minister to other people when I myself is bleeding. Come on. See, y'all don't want the truth. You don't want the truth. You like it. it, it let me tell you, I don't care who your pastor is, who your bishop is. They would never tell you the truth about some stuff they go through. You know why? Because the congregation, the members will get on their high horse and start judging your leadership about what they're going through. And the fact that they was able to say, I'm hurting. I'm hurting, I'm bleeding. I thought this way. First thing the members be like, uh, uh, uh. Ooh, gotta make a way. I you've had you gone preaching, you don't know that. He didn't say he didn't know that. He didn't say no way. That's not what was said. But can he be naked and unashamed? Can can you just say, you know what, I got you in prayer? See what I'm saying? And then y'all be talking about y'all want these preachers to be just just be honest, just be open, just tell us. No, y'all don't. Y'all don't want that because if, if he was to tell y'all, if he or she was to tell y'all, you know what? Every Sunday when I go home after church to deal with what I go through, I have me a glass of Martell every Sunday. Y'all go, oh, what? No, can't sit up under him no more. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. When you do much more than that, when you have done much, see what I'm saying? See, see the hypocrisy in that? We want leaders to be just robotic. Yeah, you can bleed, but don't tell me you bleed. You can hurt, but I don't want to know you hurt. I don't care about that. You need to just feed me. But whatever happened to praying for such a one? I don't get it. I don't get it. I would never be that type of leader where I cannot be honest. Me and God got this pack. Whatever he brings me through, I will tell it to the highest mountain. That was our pack. Whatever he delivered me from or whatever he brings me through, I will tell it to the highest mountain. And ain't nobody going to shut my mouth. Because you know what? For the longest, when I was coming through some stuff, the church folks, Lord, let me just get into it, honey. The church folks wouldn't let me speak. They kept pushing my little, my little words down, honey. No, nah, don't you say that. No, nah, uh, uh, we can't have it. No, nah, everything was, mm -mm, you ain't godly. You ain't, you know, God, um, you ain't this, you ain't that. You say for real and blah, blah, blah. When it was still people in them pews that was hurting. And they, they would go to church the same way and come home the same way. Go to church the same way, come home the same way. They try to muffle my voice. And when the Lord delivered me, he said, you better tell it. So that's why I don't care what people think about me. And that's why I tell y'all, been over public opinion all my life. Ever since God released my lips, I've been over public opinion, honey. It don't matter what you think about me at all. <laughs> at all. I'm serious. When I wake up in the morning, I don't think about, what. Well, I wonder what they're going to think about me today. I don't care. Think what you want. You can even think I ain't saved. I don't care. Because let me tell you what's going to happen. Some of y'all are going to go through some of the stuff that I've been through. I'm going to see how you handle it. See, it's easy to sit on the sideline and give commentary about other people's life. It's easy to do that. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's easy to do that. Okay? But we're going to see. We're going to see when you go through just a tenth of what I've been through. Oh, no, and you think you've already been through. No, you ain't been through nothing yet because, see, you don't have any compassion, see. So when you start going through a tenth of what I've been through, I, I want to see how you handle it. And may the Lord send somebody to you that has compassion. I'm just saying. Let me tell y'all what happened. So yesterday... My sister texts me, and I was sitting in church. She said, I need you to pray for one of the girls I mentor. She said, because she just watched this dude blow his brains out in front of her. See, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> While y'all sitting over here judging and, ooh, y'all, 
And let me see, let me tell y'all how this ties into my granddaddy. Okay, my grandfather yesterday stood up and said, Now him and my sister hadn't talked, okay, at all. My sister had just texted me. My granddaddy, about maybe 10 minutes, stood up in the church and said, You know, y'all, sometimes we need to slow down and pray for people. Really pray for people because you never know what people are going through. I'm like, come on, Red Eddie, for real. He said, let me tell you what happened. He said this guy found his number and called him, but it was like almost three o'clock in the morning. And my granddaddy be under the bed. He's an old man. He's 88 years old. He's an old man. And he said, he, he, the guy called him and said he, he needed to talk to him. And he said, well, baby, he said, I was kind of asleep. He said, can this wait till in the morning? Like this. He said, but if you need me, you know, we can talk now. He said, no, sir, it can wait till in the morning. He said, okay, don't you forget. Hung up the phone. The next morning, my granddaddy received a call as soon as he got up. And he was like, yeah, baby, I'm up. He said, somebody called me last night. They said, well, that's why we calling you. They said last night he took his life. Y'all, and it was the same guy who killed himself in front of the girl that my sister mentors. See how things, so I so I'm like, I don't care what y'all think about me. Baby, if y'all cared what y'all thought about me, I'd be crazy. Seriously. I would be sitting over here planning boogles and everything. Yeah, I would really be crazy because you would never please everybody all the time. So who I've decided to please is God and myself. And in that order, in that order, you know, when you, my, 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 <laughs> my spiritual father, who is a, is a big time prophet, my spiritual father contacted me. He only contacts me when he's got news or warnings. He contacted me again. He said, this is a warning to you. Watch those that you are around. And I was like, here we go again. Because I really ain't around people. But I'm like, okay. And when he got to confessing some stuff, like prophetically, because I'm a prophet. And I know y'all be like, well, why does that surprise you? Because when God uses me the way he does, it's I'm still in awe of him. I don't ever want to get to a point, yeah, I knew God was going to speak. No, I want to always be like a kid on Christmas. <gasps> wow. I don't ever want to get on that, you know, that thing. And so when I, when I get a word, you know, from my spiritual father, which he does not contact me all the time. That's why I keep telling y'all. He either contacts me with, with a blessing or a warning. That's it. And that's not all the time. But y'all, it's, um, he told me, he said, I said to you a while ago, this was going to be a lonely walk for you. I told you that. He said, and you keep trying to trying to make people understand who you are. Unless they're very spiritual and God has ordained them to be in your life, they are not going to understand who you are. If anything, they have built up a judgment about you in their mind. He said, you still got to be at a point and at a place where you can minister to people. And if you have to correct their life, you have to be in this spot where you can correct their life. You can't get close to people because if God sends you a word of correction for them, they won't receive it. So he did tell me that he's been telling me for years that my walk as a prophet and a, a, a apostle is going to be a lonely walk for me. I'm only at this point now that I'm okay with it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I said, yeah, I've been okay. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I just became okay with that this year. This year. Cause I see God is allowing me to see some stuff. And so I'm like, hmm, okay, I got it. I got it. So I do want to say this, though. I have had an opinion about several people on YouTube. Not so favorable opinion either. And some stuff I don't even know to be true. Just my opinion of it, you know, 
man, you know, my opinion of it had my mouth saying a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of loose rap, and I know better. I know better. So I will say this. To everyone who I have said a derogatory word about, especially, and I didn't understand, I just went off of rare emotions. This ain't got nothing to do with prophetic because I'm still human. So don't mix the two up. I'm, this is the human being me talking. You know, forgive me. Forgive me. And that's real talk. Um, some things I watched and I didn't like and I spoke on it when I should have just shut up and just observed. It had no opinion at all. And that's the that's really true. Had no opinion at all. But um, like I said, I'm 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 human. And sometimes when things get me, I man, but this year has been a little different for me because I have still been in different forms of grieving. Not making no excuse, just telling you. I have been in different forms of grieving. Um, come September the 13th, it'll be one year that my best friend, my king, my husband left me to go beyond the sky. You know, um, I met a woman at the retreat who lost her husband to COVID. She said, she looked at me, she said, how are you doing? She said, honestly. I said, you know, I think I'm doing good. And then I have that moment. You know, I said, Ian, it's hard to get people to really understand. People say they understand, but they don't really understand. And she said, I understand exactly where you are. She said, and let me encourage you. If you feel like crying, cry. If you feel like getting angry, get angry. She said, whatever you feel like doing outside of hurting yourself, and I start laughing. She said, do it because that's the point of your healing. Don't let nobody who ain't lost a spouse that they love and was good. I said, that's the thing I cut her off. I said, not only did I love this man, I liked him. She said, see, she said, that was me and my husband. She said, we was best friends. I said, we never had to figure out if we was going to talk or what we should be. I said, well, I say I miss just the simplest things with my husband. Like, like right now, you know, if he didn't have to go to work, I'd be like, babe, get the dominoes. You want to play some dominoes? Come on, come on. And we'd be playing dominoes with some music on and, you know, he'd be rubbing his feet on top of man, you know, or he'll say, let's play some gin rummy. And we'd be in there playing gin rummy and, you know, I mean, I miss those little things like that. And everything ain't got to be about sex. And that's how you know when somebody is not used to a relationship. I can honestly say my husband's never hit me. He's never threatened me. He's never cussed me out. I mean, I literally, and I used to think I was his Gordon Angel. I used to think God brought me in his life to protect him. But you know what? No. God brought him in my life to do exactly what my husband said. He said, God brought me in your life to protect you from everybody. He said to restore you and to love you unconditionally. He sure did. He sure did. He said, and I'm on my job. And he he very much was, y'all. Very much was. You know, so I'm like, dang. You know, dang, man. But... She just encouraged me, feel what I feel. Feel what I feel. You know, and that those that want to love me, love on them. And, and allow me to soak in their love. And so that's where I'm at. That's why I don't fight. If, if you love me, you love me. I shouldn't have to put on no urge for you to like who I am. I love who I am. It should be, you know what, my sister going through. You know, my cousin going through. My whatever going through, you know, I'm going to love her until she come out of it. Because I never know when I'm going to need her to love me in an unconditional way. So I just wanted to come on and just talk a little bit to some of my peeps, you know, and say it's okay. It's okay not to be 100. What I mean by that is to be like, to, to ne neglect how you really feel to keep face. No, no, no. That's not about that. 
That's not about that at all. To thy own self be true. To thy own self be true. And so I will be back sometime this week, maybe tomorrow, because I am going to uh, break down a scripture. And those that want to listen, it'll be uploaded. I don't think I'm going to do a live for a while. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a live for a while. Now, it might change as of tomorrow. Who knows? Because if God said, I need you to go live, I'm going to go live. But as far as I'm concerned, this might be the way that I do it for a while. Just upload, say what I got to say. I ain't got to worry about it if I'm going to have mods and all this and stuff. I, my people going to come in. and It's just, no, I can just say what I got to say, upload it, and let the chips fall where they may. And again, please don't add me because I'm not at nobody else. I ain't coming at nobody. I'm just speaking from my heart. I don't have a problem with anybody. I don't hate anybody. And I think it's sometimes it's hard for people to understand it. I can say some stuff without hating you. I don't hate you. One, we on YouTube. I don't know you to hate you for one. And I got to care. I don't care that deep where I hate somebody. You see how that works? That's crazy. You know, that's crazy. Anybody under the sound of my voice, I wish that God would blow on their life. They would be prosperous. They would have good health. They would have mental clarity. You know, I mean, seriously, I have no, me seeing you down does nothing for me. Either way, it does nothing for me. I'm not one of those like, yeah, no, it does nothing for me at all. Point blank period. You know, I've had, like I said, I'm, I'm just watching, man. I'm just watching. I really am. And, um, a lot of stuff that's going on with me, I'm not going to say because uh, somebody has been praying on me. And I don't mean praying like for my betterment either. I'm talking about they've been praying on me that, you know, if they can't be in my life, they don't want me to prosper. If they can't be a part of my life, they don't want me to, you know, and that's that's wrong. That's wrong. But because I am God's favorite daughter, he allowed me to hear it. And I've addressed the person. I've addressed the person, you know, so that's sad. That's really sad. And I don't know how they think they're going to be blessed by it because you're not. <laughs> you're not. So, you know, I don't know. It's between them and God. I ain't got nothing to do with that. All I know is God loves me. And he loves me and I love him. He knows me and I knows him. I knows. I sound like a, I sound like a slave. I knows him. He knows me and I know him. So. All right, this is your girl from Kentucky coming to you once again and saying thank you so much for being who you are. And uh, see you around. Smooches!